And hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Everything Sim. Today we're back in the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator and we'll be flying the EasyJet A320 by Phoenix with the CFM engines. Uh, we'll be going, well we're at Gate Bravo 12 and we are flying to Manchester from Berlin Brandenburg. But before we do go ahead and get started up in the cockpit, make sure to like, subscribe and comment. Let me know down below if you like the thumbnail uh, for the video, just because I am trialling a couple of thumbnails. So let me know if you like it. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get started in the cockpit. So here we are, we find ourselves into the cockpit of the A320, so we'll go ahead and get the uh, GPU started up. We'll get the ADs aligned, so 1, 2, then 3, as mentioned before in my previous video. Uh, we'll get the uh, ground control on, it's crew supply, just getting the middle panel, so we're going up here. So packs, set them to off for now, and then we'll set the pack flow to uh, low for later. And we'll turn on half the, uh, half the fuel tanks for now. Here we are, so we've got the screens just self-testing. There we are. And we'll just adjust the brightness to these um, displays. Uh, I tend to find that if uh, they aren't sort of uh, in the right brightness setting, uh, it tends to blind you and you can't see uh, anything that the um, screens are telling you. So if you have them, it's better light at night time, so it's best to have them a little bit dimmer. The uh, bong going on, so we know these systems are self-testing. Getting the EFP set up, so we've got all of that there. So Berlin to Manchester. Here we go. Uh, GSX is running, and we'll start getting the aircraft loaded. Uh, I forgot to mention before, uh, as the um, as we're loading it, the Phoenix with the new update has forward GSX integration, which should hopefully mean, uh, as I press load via GSX on the EFB, as I did earlier, uh, we are, so the fuel truck should come with the catering vehicles first, and then after that the passengers will be boarded along with the cargo and the cargo holds as well. So it's a pretty nice little touch, it sort of automates the process for you, which is quite nice. So we're just setting the temperature of the packs there, so it's nice and toasty warm in the cabin and the cockpit for us when the passengers are boarded. And hopefully we should, there we are, we have the uh, fuel truck just coming along there for us. It's quite a nice little model, I think it's an Isuzu truck I think, not quite sure. But there we are, he's just driven under the wing and he's going to get us all started up off of fuel. Uh, and in the distance, I'm not sure if you saw it back there, but the catering trucks are also on their way. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, we'll go get the MCDU information put in now. So flight number, cost index, and cruise flight level, which today is three six zero. Get the winds put in. Um, we're just putting in the arrival, uh, departure information, sorry, from Berlin. So it's runway 25 left and it's the Sukip uh, 1, no, sorry, 2 November departure. Uh, so that's the secondary flight plan put in, and now we've got to do the in at B page. Uh, just move ourselves, our camera here. Uh, so the in at B page, we've got the uh, dis message display up on the right hand MCDU, which is our load sheet. Uh, so we're putting the sort of correct figures into where they've got to go. Uh, block fuel today is 7.5, 7.49 or so. Uh, you got to round it up and you uh, to one decimal place, and then alternate should go in automatically. But we're just going to change that because on my flight plan, actually no, I think we'll no we'll keep that the same. We'll just put it back to 1.5. There we are. Dokey. So that is the Init B page done, the fuel prediction, and now we move on to the performance page, but we can't do that really uh, until our plane is fully loaded, so we'll leave that for now. Um, so we've finished refueling, so we'll pop the seatbelt sign. Push 
spec approved, chop to 21855, it's barrel K45. And so we've just connected up to VATSIM, so we will go ahead and uh, call for clearance. And Berlin delivery, easy 74 Yankee Kilo at standard Bravo 1 2, type A320 with information hotel, request an IFR to Manchester as far, please. Easy 74 Yankee Kilo Berlin delivery, good evening to you. Information hotel is correct. Get to Manchester, so get to November, flight climb by 75 feet, squawk 2223. Clear to Manchester as far as information hotel is current. Sukip to November departure, climb uh, as per the SID and Skork is 2223 or EZ74 Yankee. EZ74 Yankee Kilo, Berlin Yankee Kilo, Berlin Yankee There we are, so we've just got IFR clearance to Manchester, that's been approved, so we're now doing the performance on the EFB so we can transfer that over to the MCDU. There we are. So we've got the weather all good, so just calculate that. So, on the performance page here on the MCDU, so I just double check in the temperature, it's definitely 12 degrees. So it says 13 on my lower ECAM. Uh, yeah, it is, okay, alright. Yeah, it's 12 degrees, okay. Alright, so on our EFB here we have uh, V1 152, V Rotate 152 and V2 155, so pretty high speeds, uh, you tend to get one th in the 130, 140s sort of area uh, for most flights, but got a quite, quite a high sort of speeds, um, we've got a little bit of a heavier aircraft than we do normally, it's quite a, a fairly long cruise time, it's about two hours or so, just under. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll get that plugged into the MCDU. Uh, just double checking it's calculated. There we are. So we'll go ahead and get that plugged into the MCDU. So we've 152, 152, and then 155. Ooh, oh, I've put that into the view rotate. I have to reset that real quick, 152. There we are. The flaps is UPO.1. And the uh, flex temperature is 63 degrees. And the engine out will be 1150. There we are. And the takeoff shift is as it says on the MCDU. So there we are. So we are fully boarded, I believe. Just making sure we've got no failures armed. That would be a catastrophe. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can disable random failures uh, to my knowledge but I'll have to double check that one uh, later on uh, so we've just pressed the APU start switch so hopefully that will start uh, starting in a minute uh, just turn on the remaining fuel pumps uh, so we've got the fuel pump in and you can see the M1 for the APU is rising pretty slowly we'll set our squawk 2223 and then we'll go ahead and click ident a couple of times so now that the APU has finished running, we'll put on the APU bleed and the packs. So now we've got a bit of uh, hot air or warm air in the cabin. Go to ground services, we'll close the door, get rid of the GPU, uh, and we'll get rid of the jetway as well. So we'll just make sure that's moving. Yeah, there we are. <sighs> Quite close to the cockpit, but there we are. There we go. Right, so now that that's all done, we're going to go ahead and call for pushback clearance. And Berlin delivery, easy 74 Yankee Kilo, ready for push and start, please. Easy 74 Yankee Kilo, push, uh, push and start, is approved for pushback contact, apron 121, it's one 8555. 121855474 Yankee Kilo, thank you very much, good night. Okay, so it looks like we've got a transfer to ground now from delivery, uh, so we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll call for uh, pushback clearance again. Delivery, hello, Lufthansa 3 for Nala Bravo 04, request start up. So it's 121855. Lufthansa 3 for Nana, Berlin, delivery, start up. Is up. Right, there we go, we've got the uh, frequency punched in, so we'll ask for clearance again. Berlin ground, good evening, uh, easy 74 Yankee Kilo, ready for push and start at stand Bravo 12. 
is verder kwaai en ki ki loop jy alleen uitgen low en clear op die loop staan sy eitre 20 nieuw van rijt te lef dan Victor 2 pushback is het gehoofd facing south on to Victor 2 when clear of the Lufthansa A320 passing right to left on Victor 2, you are. Uh, I am proved on uh, to push face south on Victor 2. Sorry about that. And uh, that's for 74 Yankee Kilo. God, that was an absolute catastrophe. That I don't know how I can mess up a radio communication like that so badly. I think it's doing the uh, up and down bumpy thing again, so we've got to press the tow brakes real quick uh, to stop that. I think the brakes are sort of bugging out a little bit. Uh, you might have seen my Wizz Air uh, Gatwick to Bill Bow video, I did it then, so <laughs> if I just figured out a uh, fix for that. So I'll, I'll put that in the top right for you uh, if you want to go watch that now. But uh, anyways, we're just pushing back onto Victor 2 facing south, and uh, departure runway today is runway 25 left. So as you can see here, uh, pressure is building up in the yellow and we've got N2 rising as well, uh, or N1 sorry, I think, I don't know, on um, engine number 2 and we'll start engine number 1. It's quite a uh, beautiful night I forgot to say, stars around and everything. Um, it's a lovely night to be on VATSIM, nice busy uh, Berlin, I think we've got Delivery ground tower and Bremen radar, I think, on as well. So that'll be a bit of fun. And I can imagine it'll be Unicorn from there on out. But anyways, we've got engine one starting up now as well. And we're just sort of aligning nicely onto Victor 2. Then we're just setting a view. We've got an aircraft just taxiing past us now as well. Berlin ground, good evening, KLM24, Kilo, holding of Tango, holding short of Victor 1. KLM for the bridge and two for Tango, Berlin April, hello, taxi to gate Charlie, zero six via Victor 1, and Echo. Taxi to gate Charlie, zero six via Victor 1, and Echo for two for Tango. quite loud out there so I think I'll stay in the cockpit for a little bit. Um, so I've just got the tow truck disconnecting now and then we'll get ready for taxi. leaving there. He'll be off backed off to the stand. Uh, we'll turn on the taxi light so we can see the lady uh, who has our bypass pin hopefully. Lufthansa 349 ready for taxi able Lima 5. Lufthansa 349 Roger taxi a correction swing over to Victor Charlie. Victor 4 hold short of Charlie. Swing over Victor Charlie. Victor 4 hold short Charlie 349. So as you can see there she has our bypass pin. She's waving it to me again, so we'll uh, give a little bit of a shake, <laughs> just to let her know we know. Okie doke. Alright, so we'll get the uh, runway turn-off lights on now that she's not facing the uh, wheel wing lights. Uh, so now we need to do a flight control check, so full left, full right, neutral, full down, and then full up, and then rudder check, so it will be full right, Done full left. Anyway, else? So the flight control surfaces are responsive. Uh, we just need to carry out a brake check as well when we start taxiing. So there we are. Uh, ground spoilers armed and flap set to. There we go. Up at ECAM, the takeoff message has just begun, so we'll give the cabin a, a 
cool, let her know the, uh, let the flight attendant, sorry, know that we need to have the cabin ready. Turn off the dome lights, we don't need that. And there we are, we're just going to go call for taxi clearance now. And Berlin Ground EZ74 Yankee Kilo requesting taxi on Victor 2, please. EZ74 Yankee Kilo, taxi via Victor 2, hold short of Bravo. Taxi Victor 2 and hold short Bravo 474 Yankee Kilo, thank you. Berlin Tower EZ74 Yankee Kilo, taxiing Victor 2, holding short Bravo. E74 Yankee Kilo, Berlin Tower, hello. Take it on point of the 25 left via Victor 2, Mike 7. Taxi holding point runway 25 left via Victor 2 and Mike 7 for 74 Yankee Kilo. E74 Yankee Kilo, line up and wait runway 25 left. Line up and wait runway 25 left, 74 Yankee Kilo. Look from the 349er contact, Bremen Radar 120, das 340. Bremen 124, 340, danke dir, schönen Abend, 349er. Nicht ganz 120, das mit 340. Ah, sorry, 120, 340, sorry. Berlin Tower, schönen guten Abend, das ist unser Tricero Tango, ILS 25 left. Schönen Abend, Tricero Tango, Berlin Tower, hallo, und die Partner 330, was ist? Easy 7 for Yankee Kilo, wind 2, 3, 0, 3, 7, not runway 2, left, clear for takeoff. Runway 2, 5, left, clear for takeoff. Uh, easy 7 for Yankee Kilo. Here we are, so we'll start giving it a bit of the beans. I'm just sort of about to take off now, so we'll set 50% uh, N1 bow now. And so there we are. And flex SRS from my with thrust blue. Contact, uh, I think it was radar on uh, 120 620 for 74 Yankee Kilo. Uh, 120 630. 630, apologies, 74 Yankee Kilo, thank you, good night. With a 486, Berlin Tower, hello, wind 230, 7 knots, from the 205 to the land. From the 205 right, take the land with that for Station calling, unreadable. Yeah, sorry about that, that was uh, EV3596, uh, just uh, had a mic click by accident. EV3596, Berlin Ravel identified, information India, descend flight level 100, expect ILS from a 25 left. Uh, descend and maintain uh, 100, expect ILS 25 left, uh, EV3596. EV3596, you're currently too high, so you can turn right on the 180 and expect southern downwind. Alright, so turn right heading, wait, what do you say again? EVA 3596, turn right heading 180. Turn right heading 180, uh, EVA 3596. Twist to your total contact, direct there, 121, decimal 130, call only. 121, 120, decimal 130, call only, bye. Stefan, the 349, Bremen is closing, monitor Unicom, tschüss. Yo, schönen Abend, euer Unicom, 122, decimal 8, tschüss. And Berlin, easy 74 Yankee Kilo. 
Easy 7 for Yankee Kilo, departure identified. Proceed direct Ansan, comfortable 160. Proceed direct Ansan and uh, climb flight level 1604, 7 for Yankee Kilo. The so Fanta 8 November, expect further descent in about 20 track miles due to aspect structure. Wilco, the Fanta 8 November. EVA 3596, descent at 3,000 feet, question 3,000 feet per minute on right now. Okay, we're just going to maintain uh, 3,000 EV 3596. EVA 3596 negative, descent flightable 100 at 3,500 feet per minute on right now. Rate of descent 3,500 or more. Alright, 3,000 feet per minute down to 10,000 EVA 3596. Serving safely, Lima Golf, descent 5,000 feet, Kinedge 1031. Descending 5,000 feet, Kinedge 1031, you're moving safely, Lima Golf. Alpine 17 Bravo Hotel, descent flightable 70. Seven zero, fine one seven, bravo, welcome. Right, so we're fully established on the climb, and uh, I'll cut to when we're near to top descent. Here we are. So we find ourselves into the cockpit again. We're now near top descent uh, into Manchester. So we'll get the uh, FCU three thousand five hundred feet is our capture altitude. So we'll just set that, but we won't uh, tell the FCU or tell the autopilot to descend us just yet. We'll just get that ready. Uh, and then in the MCU, we've had a message, but we've got rid of that now. It was just easy ops. Uh, so now on the second MCU, we're going to get end, uh, our uh, information in. So Q&H. We've already got a barrow in, uh, it's 449. Uh, I put that in earlier because it doesn't ever change, uh, whereas weather will, so I put it in as late as possible, the weather pretty much. Uh, so we've got the temperature, uh, Q&H is uh, 1025, the temperature is... Where's that? I'm just trying to find it on uh, Volanta. Am I... Uh, OFP, there we are, so it's uh, 1-4 degrees, and wind is, I think, pretty much the same, yeah, sort of, it's 2-1-0 uh, at 8, but that's subject to change, I'm sure, and then, uh, transition flight level is, uh, I think it says 6,000, is it, on the, I'm just reading the ATIS for um, Manchester at the moment, but yeah. Manchester traffic easy, 74 Yankee Kilo, reducing speed 230 knots and going direct to Rosen. That's Romeo, Oscar, Sierra, Uniform, November, Manchester. Roger, And Manchester Tower easy, 74 Yankee Kilo, inbound runway 23 left, uh, 23 right rather, and uh, we're requesting a radio check please. EV47 Yankee Kilo Manchester Tower, good evening, readability 5. Fantastic, so we know uh, Manchester can hear us, and uh, I'll cut to when we're close to uh, the glide slope. Here we are, so we are about uh, 12 miles out, and we're just about to hit the glide slope at CF23 left. I got my god, yes, yeah, sorry, that's correct, so you're going to come out of Romper 10, uh, 10 left on Alpha. Left on Bravo, uh, right on Kilo, it's kind of what I had in mind. Uh, yeah, it's because I'm facing towards the distance location, so um, I can't come straight out onto Bravo, so I have to left on Alpha, uh, left again onto uh, Bravo, uh, and then can go down to Kilo, um, and then box off if that's okay. Got my gun. Got my gun, sounds good, thanks. So uh, the winds have picked up just a little bit since, uh, only a little bit though, since we've put it into the MCDU. That shouldn't be an issue though, hopefully. Um, and then, just have, to, just have to see how this landing goes really. I mean, there is a uh, a new, I think it's the f uh, side stick dampening system or something uh, in the new update. And that handles it a little bit differently with the CFM engines than what I'm used to. 
uh, before the update so we'll just have to see how it goes um, hopefully <laughs> hopefully we can keep control we should be all good but yeah we're just past the uh, 10 DME mark now and we're well onto the glide slope following the purple diamonds Uh, tell me apologies for that, I have no idea what's happened to my pushback software, so I'll uh, disconnect and rig. Yeah, no worries. So, we're good evening, Nordic uh, 1326, uh, 12 miles, ILS 23, right? Nordic 1326, Manchester Tower, good evening. Continue approach from me, 238, one to land ahead. Hey firm, we have the traffic and uh, continue. Uh, not like one three two seven. EV seven four Yankee Kilo surface wind two zero zero degrees seven knots from a two three right clear to land. From a two three right clear to land, EV seven four Yankee Kilo. going for auto brake low today it's a 10,000 foot runway it's plenty long enough and hopefully all goes well scenes as we come over sort of a lit Manchester uh, we can see the runway in sight there QNH is still uh, 1025 according to Manchester ATIS and we are now uh, at minimum approach speed uh, required and pretty stable for our approach I'd say Pilot off. There we go, manual flight. Seven four Yankee Kilo going around runway two three right. Easy seven four Yankee Kilo Roger. Uh, you can perform the standard missed approach procedure and switch to Unicom on one two two decimal eight, and then you can contact me again once you've re-established. 
Will Kogue, uh, standard, uh, standard go around procedure and uh, Unicorn 122 decimal 8 for uh, easy 7 ball Yankee Kilo. Contact you later, thank you. I'm not too sure what happened there to be honest. I uh, just sort of lost vertical control, I suppose. I don't know if you want to say that. But anyways, we'll follow procedure and we'll turn right heading 356. Seven nodding one three two six three five one. Nodding one three two six. Surface wind two zero zero degrees seven knots from way two three right clear to land. Clear to land two zero right. Nodding one three two six. So we're just turning back onto approach and we've transferred over to Manchester Tower for frequency and we'll let them know we're coming back around for 2 3 right. And Manchester Tower, good evening for the second time. Easy 7 4 Yankee Killer going at it again, turning final runway 2 3 right and we'll be about 12 miles DME. Easy 7 4 Yankee Killer, hello again. Continue approach runway 2 3 right, surface in 2 1 0 degrees 10 knots. Continue approach, runway 23 right, 74 Yankee Kilo. There we are, so we're just joining up with uh, CF23 left and we'll turn on the approach mode. Uh, so we're lining up with that pretty nicely. Uh, and we should follow the purple diamond as well when we hit the localizer. Just line up with that, there we are, direct to sort of thing. And then we're about uh, 11 odd miles DME now. EZ74 Yankee Kilo surface wind 210 degrees, 10 knots from way 2 to right, clear to land. Excuse me, right, clear to land, EZ74 Yankee Kilo, thank you. Right, we'll do this one properly this time. <laughs> First time, which is just a trial run. <laughs> um, yeah, so we winds uh, sort of uh, that's the thing has decreased by two knots since we've come back around. So, I mean, that won't matter too much, but uh, I just need to get used to the controls. Manchester Tower, EZ089, turn off final for 2 3 right? EZ089, Manchester Tower, good evening. Continue approach from EZ089, right, number 2. Continue approach, easy, zero at nine. And, uh, turn, run at 60 hotel, request taxi. Run at 60 hotel, taxi to Honey Point, Juliet 1, runway 22 right via hotel and Juliet. Taxi Juliet 1 for 23 right via hotel and Juliet, run at 60 hotel. Right, runway in sight, manual flight. Uh, actually, quick thank you to uh, Epic Tetus eight zero two eight. I think he let me know it was uh, runway in sight, manual flight, not eye of control, uh, just for a diff number of different reasons. But yeah, thanks to him using that now. <laughs> Don't really matter. It's not really ATC, is it? But it's just a little one of those things, isn't it?
continue. Okay, a little bit of a float. Let's uh, get it down. There we are, smooth enough. Small float, but it's not going to kill anyone. It's a long runway. Uh, put reverse thrusters on, so we should be able to get off pretty quickly. There we are, 80 knots, roll out. There we are. Okie dokie, we'll come off here at Alpha Echo. Uh, and ATC, no, we want taxi because we want to get back to the gate. It's late. It is for me, anyways. <laughs> it's about 10 o'clock at night for me. Right at 62 Hotel, line up, runway 23 right. Line up, 23 right, right at 62 Hotel. And Tower EC74 Yankee Killer has vacated runway 23 right to the right on Alpha Echo. Uh, we actually made it this time. <laughs> EC74 Yankee Killer, good to hear. You can taxi to stand 10 via Alpha, uh, Bravo, and Papa. Taxi stand 10 via Alpha, Bravo, and Papa for uh, EC74 Yankee Killer, thank you. So we'll just stop the chrono there, turn up the dome light if we can. That'll do. Uh, landing lights need to come off. Just need to give it a bit of the bean to the engine real quick. Yeah, landing lights off, strobes off. Uh, we'll keep the wing on for a little bit, I think. And yes, the nose to uh, ta taxi as opposed to take off. There we are. Right, TCAS off. Uh, put the MCDs back to menu. Go on to the APU page on the lower ECAM and get the EFP set up. Right now, 62 Hotel, surface wind 210 degrees, 10 knots from way 22 right, clear to take off. Clear to take off, 23 right, right now, 62 Hotel. Here we are, just about to pull into stand 10, turn off the uh, runway turn off, and then the taxi lights once we're, I think we're going around a little fast, <laughs> just slow down. There we go, turn off the taxi lights. And we'll just line up with the gate, or the stand should I say, because there's no actual jetway. Bit of an abrupt stop there, but uh, get the engines off. Wing, uh, we'll turn off the beacon. Beacon in the second. Packs off. Uh, yeah, we'll turn off some of the fuel pumps since we're only running the APU at the moment. There we go. Well, there we have it. That is yet again another flight completed. Uh, that was Berlin to Manchester. So. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like uh, and to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you do not miss another video put out by me. Anyways, thank you very, very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.